somebody said I want to look at new cards. So, 45. Damn. All right. 45. It's like 500 gems each person. Damn. Whoa. That's 500 gems a dude. Wait. 200, 450. Oh, shit. That's 550 gems per guy? Did everybody get a boost like that? Damn. Oh, you can get two Dark Ruler Hades! Oh! Baby! Yeah! Oh, hell yeah! You can get two Dark Ruler Hades? I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready. Let me see. That's, uh... Yes, that's like 550. Hold on a second. How many characters is it? Shit. Let me see. Was like 15 or 13 characters or something like that? Let me see. That's what I'm talking about. That is 14,000 free gems. I am, I am, I gotta write that down. I need to come back for this Dark Ruler. I need that fucking Dark Ruler high death. Two Dark Ruler high deaths. Are you kidding me? Two? <sighs> All right, I got. I learned this from my like corporate life. You gotta always have a little little book for your ideas. If you don't have a little book for your ideas, then you're gonna lose them sometimes. You don't want to lose good ideas because sometimes they're hard to come by. But if anybody finds this book out of context and they don't know I do this Duel Link stuff or Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, they would just look in this book and see all these all these like scribbles about ancient texts. Dark rulers and, and all these other offerings inside the books. People would be looking like, what the fuck is this guy writing? Oh my God, is he a Satanist? What the, the fuck? <laughs> but <laughs> people would be tripping. All right, got to come back for that. I'm gonna just go down the line. I'm just go down the line. Fourteen thousand gems. That's insane. That's insane. They released this once per turn. If you, if an activated coin toss. Oh my god! I gotta come back for this man too. Wow. Oh, okay. Immediately after resolving, apply these effects. One. 500 damage. Two, destroy one card. Three, look at your opponent's hand and discard one card from their hand when an effect is activated that tosses a tosses a coin two more two or more times. You can banish this card from the graveyard and treat all the results as heads. That's spicy. I like that. Okay. You can tribute this card by, uh, it says, you can tribute some in this card by tributing one Gravekeeper monster. This card gains 200 attack for each Gravekeeper monster in your graveyard. If this card face up will be destroyed, you can discard one Gravekeeper monster instead. Oh, that's spicy. But where, but where is um, Necro Valley? Yeah, it's called Necro Valley, right? Yeah, where's Necro Valley? But it's a long grind to level up. True, it's a long grind. But last week, we didn't have this grind. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it, even even though it's not ideal, it is effort. You know what I'm saying? So I, I commend them for putting forth the effort to release 14,000 gems for free to play. And if you're wise, you can use those gems to, you know, get yourself a good deck. To activate this card by declaring one monster type attribute and special summon this card as a normal monster. Level 4, 0 attack, 2200 defense with the type and attribute. Wow. Quantum Cat. Man. Okay. No. No. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought it... Oh, okay. Oh, snap. Toon Thick Elves. Not me. Not your daddy's tunes. God, Jesus. It says, if two worlds on the field, um, well, this card 
Cannot attack the turn of summon. If Tomb World was on the field, is destroyed, destroy this card. While you control Tomb World and your opponent controls no tombs, this card can attack your opponent directly. If this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, discard one random card from their hand. Nice. I thought he was going to get that Tomb Briefcase. I was going to be disgusted. Tomb Briefcase is table 500 trash. Said Necro Valley would kill Sylvans. Nani, I don't get the table 500 reference. All right, here we go. Oh, they gave Mokuba a uh, fucking ruin. Oh, wow. Ruins of the Divine Dragon Lords. Don't we already have one of those? They gave him a second one? They gave him two? Oh, they just made it consistent. Damn. Oh, oh you fucked up. You fucked up. You gave us two. Oh, Konami. Oh, okay. Okay. Damn, that's really good. Oh, now you got two. Jirai Gumo. Hey! I can. Now, this is going to be a nice little meme card. Attack! I have my life! Ooh! I can't wait to do that. That's going to be funny. Not too meta relevant. But I can see definitely. Um, this card doing something. This is a very good card. It's very good. It, it just has a lot of different versatile things. Pretty good. He said, not your daddy's tunes. <laughs> so I imagine, he said, imagine his second tune, Kingdom. I would have threw up on this channel. I would have threw up live. You just, I just would have just, just like that. <laughs> right in the cup. <laughs> Skill, Dark Magician. Is that our third one? One, two. Second one. Okay. That's what's up. Useful. Nani! Play set as king of skull service? Lordy. Daddy. Insane. Yugi. What do you have? Dark Magic Inheritance. Banish two spell cards from the graveyard. Add a spell card. Add a spell or trap card from your deck to the hand that specifically lists the card, the card Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl in the text. Except Dark Magic Inheritance. You can only activate one Dark Magic Inheritance per turn. Spice. King Skull Servants plus Mystic Piper and Relinquish. Damn, that's spicy. That's good. You said your shirt is like Arcana. Twi twist it? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Ooh. The Melody of Awakening Dragon. You guys are really going to enjoy Friday. I mean, this weekend. You guys are really going to enjoy this weekend. Once per turn, during either player's turn, during each player's battle phase, you can target one warrior. Oh, wait. We already got Blue Flame Swordsman. Oh, we got two Blue Flame Swordsmen. Nice. What does mine get? Amazon is queen. The thickest. She wears a size 12, and she's not ashamed of it. Amazonist monsters, your <laughs> you control cannot be destroyed by Blardle. Uh, feel like there's better cards than that. Feel like there's better cards than that. So when they gonna release the next box? I don't know. Or or as my boy Kratos would say, <laughs> I <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> Select one uh, fairy monster that was removed from play and special summon it. Eh. This card is removed from kill certain monsters. This card is straight to that card. Eh. Lackluster ritual. Ooh, a second tackle crusher? Nice. Whoever was saying these rewards aren't good, what were you saying? Like, were you looking at just run one reward? I'm sorry that it didn't please you. These rewards are great. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one insect monster with 1,500 attacker left from the deck. 
Oh, they put a. Um, oh. Ugh. 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 They put this kind of monster in Duel Links. Ugh. I hate these monsters. Don't ugh. Don't put this in Duel Links. Ugh. They're taking away true minus ones. Ugh. Don't make stuff like that prevalent in Duel Links. I don't want to see no Mystic Tomatoes or none of that shit. Nani! They put over X in Duel Links? Oh. Sheet. It's because people expected meta breaking cards. I'm just happy to get gems. My boy Meta, let, let me let, just tell you something about Meta breaking. I don't know why everybody wants stuff right fucking now. Everybody wants some shit right now. New cards come out, I want a new video right now. Fucking new packs come out, I want I want them all right now. Some shit takes time. These new cards have come out. People need to level up, get the cards, make the deck, then break the meta. The meta isn't broken just because you see a new card. The meta is broken once the cards are actually implemented into a competitive, competent deck that cucks the current meta. That's going to take time. So go ahead. Go into the stable. I'm going to need everybody right now. Not not my boy who made the comment, but everybody. I need everybody right now who's tripping about these prizes and saying that these 45, they're saying that the 14,000 gems and the and all these crazy things like Overex isn't enough. I'm going to need you to go to your stables, your specific stable. I'm going to need you to go to the stables. I'm going to need you to extend both hands out as far as you can. And I'm going to need you to hold your horses, my boy. I'm going to need you to just reach out, hold your horses. I'm going to need you to hold them down at least for a damn week. Shit. You didn't even give them 24 hours before you start going. Damn. Come on, man. This. Mm. Mm. Hold them horses. Hold them down. Let's see what else we got. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Just hold them, please. Until the end of the turn, face of level three or lower water monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. Okay. You know why this is nasty? Wetlands. Wetlands. Paleo. This card. That's disgusting. If I had a wetlands, think about it. If you got paleo monsters on board, 2400 attack, unaffected by everything, and then for one turn, they cannot die. That's crazy. Wow, this is crazy. For for paleos, man, this is this is insane for paleo. How many of these do we have? This would be so annoying if we had any more than one. It would be so annoying. Cause that paleo shit, and, th and when you activate this, you get a paleo summon. Ugh, ugh. I activate, attack, activate. My paleo don't die. Kill your paleo, kill kill your whatever. Flip, summon this paleo, boost it. <laughs> Bam! You know what I'm saying? Wow. It says if they get that nag one. Oh shit! And then also I forgot. Umi, yeah, legendary ocean drops you from four to three. I'm not too hyped for this. I was a little hyped. I mean, I was hyped for everything else. This is just kind of like just a generic, like you know, one for one. You know. This card's destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Uh, destroyed by battle. Ugh, even worse. And sent to the graveyard. Target one monster on the field. Destroy it. Yeah, and it's a monster, not card. So, mm, yeah, we already talked about that. Did we did We already cover this? Oh, yeah. We, did we just go all the way around? Yeah, we went all the way around. Okay. Off to GX, my boy. Let's go. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX! All right, Chaz. What did you get? Mm. Ojama... Mass assimilation. <laughs> this picture is hilarious. Green's putting on a mask, but it's only covering his like front teeth and nothing else. <laughs> Mouth's completely exposed. 
Same thing with black. Mouth completely exposed. Yellow's freaking the fuck out. Say so reveal one light machine type monster from your extra deck and banish any number of Ojama monsters from your hand. Face up on the field and or in the graveyard and special summon fusion materials with different names whose names are specifically listed on the card you revealed from your hand deck or graveyard equal to the equal to the number of monsters bent what you can banish this card what let me read that again reveal one light machine fusion monster in the extra deck okay and banish any number of ojama monsters from your hand face up on the field and or graveyard special summon fusion materials with different names whose names are specifically listed on the card revealed from your hand deck and or graveyard equal to the number of monsters banished to activate you can only act you can only you can banish this card from the graveyard then target three banished ozama monsters shovel them into the deck and draw a card fuck that's busted i need to go and look at light machines right now what do we have? I have to know. Light machines. What do we have? Light fusion machines. I need. I need to know. I, I have to know right now. Nani. No. 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 You can't. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so you can go that that spell card into into three of these on the first turn. That's disgusting. Light machine, okay. Light machine, okay. Okay, so basically XYZ material, okay. Man, that's spicy. But just one though, I'm, I'm a little, that, I don't like just one. I, I kind of wish we have more of that because that's really good. That is insane. Wow, that's what that card does? That is crazy. Wow, that is crazy. It does so much. It does it just does so much for one card. It just, oh, another swing of memories. That's gonna make combos, uh, uh, like especially like farming combos is much easier. Ancient Gear box. The second box now? Ugh. Okay, that was a little lackluster. That was a lackluster soldier. <laughs> Carbon. Carbonda? Carbonda? This card battles a fire monster during the damage calculation. This card gains a thousand attack. <laughs> what? You can banish this card. You can ban this card from the graveyard. A special summon from your hand deck. Your hand or deck. One level 7 or lower dragon type normal monster. The face up defense position. Ooh. From the graveyard. Special summon. Oh, from your hand or deck. Damn. Okay, never mind. Fuck, that's pretty good. I said, who's a hazy killer? He said, Carbonia OP. He said, revise red eyes. So that's, he says, that's good for red eyes. Like, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty busted, man. That's pretty busted. I'm surprised. Like, GX does not, does not have many characters. We need some more GX characters. Car Trooper. Yes. Okay, so this... This is this is very helpful for these mill slash combo decks, especially for arch fiends. Like I'm I'm gonna level him up for my arch fiend deck before the uh, qualifiers, because think about how powerful this is on first turn. Summon, flip three off top, go. If he dies, 
I draw. If he doesn't die, I got two 19 cannons. Like, you know what I'm saying? And he's milling three more. Much better than Lila. Great card. Great, great, great card. This, this alone, this alone, to me, of everything else, is the most playable card. Card Trooper. I think that's the most playable card of all the cards. In all the decks. <gasps> no! You did it to him! Come now. Oh, they did it to him! We got... We got double... Okay. I gotta level this man up now. I have to. We have double plasma now? We got double plasma now? Oh my god. We got double plasma. I would have loved double destiny draw, but double plasma? Oh, fuck. Yes. It's amazing. It's a, it's a release it. Again, out to your stables. Extend your arms as far as they go. Mm. Hold them horses, boy. Hold on to them, because we got fucking card trooper and two plasmas. Hold them, horse. Hold them back. God damn. You got card trooper and two plasma. Plasma is so insane to have two now. And you can even use, even, even if, even if you were like, man, two's not enough. Check this out. If you really wanted to, you could do this. You could just do this. You could use bring it. Look at this. Can only be used every time points go down by 1800 instead of your normal draw. Get a level 8 Dark Warrior. What? Go get them for free. Oh, man. I have a lot of leveling up to do. Fuck. Crystal Bond. Says add a Crystal Beast monster from your deck to the hand. You can place one Crystal Beast monster with a different name from your deck face up in your spell trap zone. You can only activate one. This is actually pretty nice. It'll speed up that um, Anteater deck I made. <laughs> that plasma suck brick, my boy. <laughs> Troop dupe scoop. That's right, my boy. <laughs> Car Jupiter is cute. <laughs> That's right, my boy. You're finished. That's right. Double suck negation. You're gone. Get out of here. What is Chaz? Oh, yeah. We saw Chaz. We saw Chaz. Oh, we saw that. We saw that. Oh, we did see that. Okay. All right. So, what do you guys think? What's the best one? Me, personally, I want to say the best card to me of all this is this card. I don't think anything's better than this. Close second for me is Plasma and High Dez. I think Plasma and High Dez, and you already know why, because they negate monster effects, which is which is why I like them. Yeah, I definitely think Card Trooper is best. Yeah, definitely, definitely think he's best. I said Rainbow Bridge coming next. That'd be pretty nice. Well, Dragon that Dragonic statue thing is is cool. Card Trooper, I really think is next. Is 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 the best. Yeah, I think Kyra Trooper is the best, hands down. That was King of Skull Servants. What did Kyber get? Oh, he got the Melody of Awakening. Yeah, I think Kyra Trooper, man. Yeah, Kyra yeah, Trooper, I think, is the best card to come out of this. Because Kyra Trooper is just sickening. Sickening. That's sickening. Once per turn, you can choose. You can choose. One, two, or three cards. Send that card. Send that many cards from top of deck to the graveyard. This card games 500 attack for each card that you sent until the end of the turn. This the card you control destroys into the graveyard. Draw one card. I used to dread playing against this fucking deck back in the day. And my boy did leave a comment. He said, "Troop, doop, scoop." Like that was very true. It was like troop, doop scoop like people would just give up like milling your deck for free is already nasty right especially if you build your deck around it but to be a 1900 beater that's a level three that at the time could swing under gravity bind level limit area b 
I don't know if y'all remember those cards. That's maybe too old school for y'all. Gravity bind, level limit area of the <laughs> machine, light monster. I mean, I'm sorry, he wasn't like he's was earth tripping, but he was a machine monster. Disgusting. It is nasty. Nasty. No, no, he doesn't excavate. He sends. He doesn't excavate. He sends. He sends cards from the top to the to the bottom. God damn. Man.